jam day. First day that I'm switching from that analog Behringer mixer to the new Zoom L20. It's got 16 uh, XLR slash quarter inch, but uh, I needed the uh, extra XLRs. Eight for the drums, one for the amp, one for the room, one for my vocals. Chick, chick, chick. Got it all wired up. Whatever comes from there, tied in. Whatever comes from there, tied up. I'm trying to keep it clean. I don't want to trip on it. I got the cables uh, looped and tied to the frame up in the back there. Just bought this table at Walmart. It's a pretty cool little table. It's a bit flimsy, but uh, it's strong enough. This is a light uh, mixer. Plus, I can slide it in towards me when I start playing. So I need to be able to make some adjustments. Pretty cool. The old Behringer, which I'll keep for uh, some reason or another, does have the eight XLRs up there, XLR slash quarter inch, and a bunch of extra stereo inputs, quarter inch. So it's still a decent amp. The only problem is I can only get a pair of stereo outs to go into the camera here, which is what I'm doing still with this setup. But here, you've got six, uh, six outs for monitoring or sending wherever um, and you can switch it between them being single uh, like TR or TS output so if you want to send to a pair of speakers which is what I'm doing here uh, if you want headphones for the uh, people in the band or whatever you could have six different setups so right now I've got the two phono plugs the quarter inches that go into the back of this zoom Q8 camera Anyways, they go in the back here, and then I've got, uh, so the XY mounts on the top, these are automatically set up no matter what I do. Um, so they've got the, them up there for a pair, and then the other two are these two inputs here. Check one, two. It gets a lot louder when I clap my hands or when we start playing. So yeah, so I'm going to see if I can record. What'll happen is I'll get a stereo out from the mixer, from all the mics on the drums, overheads, the amp when Doug brings this amp, and then I've got this overhead here. And uh, so they'll all come in here, plus the room mics with these XYs. Uh, that'll be directly in with the video. Well, I mean, it'll be separate from the video. I can. That's what I used to do before. But uh, as well, because this thing has a built-in uh, recorder, I'll be able to uh, mix up mix down whatever all of the tracks on here they go an SD card and then uh, so yeah I should be able to adjust the mixes which I could never do before so that was the biggest pain just you know hoping that I, I, I EQ'd everything well enough with that mixer over there going to the camera at that point I can only adjust like the, the whole like you know eight or so mics that I was using so I had to EQ it as best as I could, and it never really uh, came out perfectly well. Uh, guitar might be too loud, drums often too loud. Um, and so hopefully with this, I'll be able to take the recording. And if the drums are too loud, I can bring up the guitar or bring down the drums, certain drum, um, the room, whatever. And then I'll just like take all of the audio, you know, as well as the camera, and uh, try to figure out a decent mix when I get to separate the tunes and whatever, render them, output them. All right, um, that's it for now. The setup is ready. Love my drum set. Hope it sounds okay today. So uh, I guess I should tell you a bit about it. I got my, the floor tom was a project, $20 off QGG from someone. It's a real mess. I cleaned it up as best I could. Uh, sanded the, ed the, bear the bearing edge a bit put on new heads top and bottom I think I had to clean up the feet then this one here is a uh, 14 inch that's 16 inch God knows what brand whatever but it is kind of wood colored stained at some point uh, so this is Yamaha what the heck is it oh, Yamaha stage custom no it's something else absolute I don't know anyways made in Indonesia evidently 
uh, Doug got it used and sold it to me. So I've got my uh, 10 inch, 12 inch, 14 inch. The 14 was on a, a stand. It has a um, a bracket, so it was kind of uh, mounted up um, on a stand with one of these. Uh, what do they call it? Yes, mounts. Uh, I put some. I bought some uh, uh, feet and um, lugs or whatever to put them on. I uh, got the six and a half inch Yamaha snare with an Evans head on it. I forget what the heck it's called. Reverse dot. EC reverse dot, I think. Um, decent, sounds good. Um, got my hi hats. So, uh, two legged hi hat stand. So, I've got my double pedals down there that my friend uh, Weldon gave me. Pearl Eliminators. Wuhan 8 inch splash, 10 inch splash, Peisty 10 inch splash, uh, Peisty PSD 7s, 3 crashes. This is a Wuhan uh, 14 inch crash or 16, I don't remember the size. Um, I hated the sound, so I drilled a bunch of holes in it because I had this Peisty FX and I wanted it to be kind of like that, so that's kind of there. Uh, and I got 2002 ride, 20 inch. And 2002 uh, s the sound edge hi hats, 14 inch. Uh, yeah, so and then I think these are Audix. Bought a mic set at uh, Long and McQuaid. Added a few extras, so I've got four for the toms, one for each, one for the snare. Um, I don't know if I, I did have like a um, an Apex or I think it was Apex 775. It's like the Shure SM57. But it was so big in there, and it was kind of on the side here, but it was getting away from everything, so it was just too big. I uh, bought an extra one of these uh, smaller ones that match the others. So that's on the snare, just on top. So there's eight mics in all. Got the, uh, what are these? Ribbon condensers, two overheads, and uh, so that's eight. And I got one on the kick out in front. Take you around there. drum. Um, I'm not putting it in the hole. I was for a while, but I was watching a video last night from a guy who does mixing and he says that it just the extra air um, vibrates the, uh, what is it, the, the ribbons, whatever, in these and uh, kind of messes up your mix. So I'm going to kind of put it offset a little bit for now and see how that goes. These are Samsung, Samson uh, small kind of speaker monitors. I use them for monitors. Uh, I don't have them plugged in right now because I don't think I'll use my mic in the back there. I got a um, gooseneck on there to try to swing it around in front of me. I had a tripod before, but there's so much on the floor now. Um, it's hard to fit a tripod in there. I got to come up with a miking scenario. Uh, I don't think I generally sing when Doug comes over, but say I want to talk. That'll come in the mix, so I'll get it in the camera, but uh, whether or not I want to be able to hear it in our playing live, I don't have these guys plugged in yet. So that's it. Uh, they're pretty much all Yamaha stands, cymbal stands, and uh, it's a pretty cool set. I got the one off because I like playing my ride in close, like Bonham and, and lots of other drummers. Uh, I don't put two on on the bass drum, so I've got the one, the 12 inch, and the 10 inch is over mounted off of this uh, stand here, which has extra. It's, it's also one of those yes mounts, Yamaha yes mounts. So I've got uh, crash. The, the, sorry, the two. Um, Splash symbols are on those, and then I got one main crash coming down through the third mount. And uh, so that's it. Yeah, I tried to uh, um, tie up the cables, keep them from being a tripping hazard. It's not bad. Um, same with the other side. And then Doug's amp will go here in the corner, and uh, we'll put the mic that. So I did buy uh, a Shure SM57, my first. If things work out with the other boys, because then there's bass, acoustic guitar, oh, acoustic electric, and uh, electric guitar. Someday I'd like to get two more so I could have the three mics for the three amps. So with them, it would be three mics on the amps, four vocals, and then I guess this one room mic. If that works, I don't even know if it'll work. I tried to put it around the middle, mounted it off this uh, cladding here. Use one of those like Rogers uh, coax blanking plates. There's a hole in the center that actually perfectly fit one of my little adapter uh, screws that uh, 
you know, I've got it in the back there. And then that uh, mic clamp gets to uh, screw onto that. A couple of wood screws into the thing, and uh, uh, I bought a couple of more of these uh, right angle mic connectors so it's not pushing up into the ceiling. And then a couple of mini little clamps to keep that up out of the way. Comes down there for now. And so that's it. The drum set. The Zoom Q8 camera, the Zoom L20 in the back there, and then this old Behringer, which I thought about selling, but again, if I ever do a thing where I'm playing, because I used it at the Arm Prior gig we did for um, Jason's birthday, I brought this, I mic'd my drum, so I used the eight mics there, and then patched them stereo into the, uh, the PA system. So I'm going to keep this, because I don't think I'm going to be bringing that fancy Zoom L20 anywhere, anywhere soon at least. I don't want to take the chance of wrecking it. Um, so, and plus I don't want to, you know, the, the setup with the mics it took me like two, three hours today, just getting all set up, uh, organized, plugged in, whatever, get the drum mics all put in place. So not the kind of thing I feel like at my age uh, and strength to be like undoing, plugging in every time I go somewhere, if we jam out in Arnprior or Orleans or play a show, which is rare, but say we do really don't want to be taking it all apart so I'm gonna leave this all set up and uh, just rely on whatever we have elsewhere in theory you know the other thing is yeah so I'll just do a very minimal miking if I ever go elsewhere but I do have this other setup that I just rigged up on a straight stand so I bought this uh, little mount here with the dual dual clamp for mics, got the pair of mics, right at the moment I've got them plugged into a uh, an adapter that takes the two into one, uh, so yeah, so if we play somewhere and there's a spot in the um, in the PA, like say at Derek's or Jason's, then uh, I'll bring this set out and I can maybe just plunk that down in front of the drums and there's a, there's a pair into one, or maybe separate cables, because um, again we'd need four vocals, three guitars. We may only have, I don't know if I've got eight or more, but say they only have eight inputs, then I only have the one for drums. So plug in that single there just to get uh, some of the room. And then if I'm using my camera, I've got two extra mics plus the, uh, the XY on boards to get more sound. There's Doug's uh, Mesa Boogie, which I keep over here in the back room. I don't know if he's bringing his new amp. He's got a, I forget, it's got a big Z on it. It's really cool. Don't know if he's bringing it today or not, but we'll wheel that in here when he's here. So I'm going to do some uh, sound checking on the mics and see what happens. Over and out.